This is a 661 series diesel electric locomotive. The locomotives of the 661 series carry the epithet of the most famous diesel locomotives in the territory of the former Yugoslavia. Can you please tell us what the code 661 means? 661 means that it is a diesel locomotive with six traction engines, and it is the first in the series. The 661 series locomotive is also known by the popular name Kennedy. The designation Co. Company means that it has two bogies with three axes. The locomotive is a product of the American company General Motors and its original designation is EMD G16. Some parts were produced in the city of London in the Canadian province of Ontario. My name is Peter Verakar and I work as a driver on diesel electric locomotive 661. The locomotive is huge and that's why it's unpredictable, that's why there must always be two people in the service, I, E, driver and assistant. Also, there are controls on both sides. The locomotive can drive in the same way and without any restrictions in one direction as well as in the other. In the period from 1960 to 1972, 220 locomotives of the 661 series were delivered to Yugoslavia. 218 were for the needs of the then Yugoslav Railways, and two were for the needs of the Obrenovac Mine and Thermal Power Plant. For the driver, the most important thing is the driving direction lever. The selector lever has a 10 position and with its help the train accelerates or reduces speed, in addition it has a neutral position and a stop position, which means turning off the diesel engine. Also, there are direct and indirect brake. The direct brake only breaks the towing vehicle, while the indirect final brake also breaks the train of wagons if they are attached to the locomotive. We always wonder how the locomotive is unlocked and started, and now we're going to see it. The driving direction lever also represents a key, which must be pulled out before leaving the locomotive every time, and then the locomotive cannot be started. This locomotive has a sandblasting system, both manual and automatic. Sandblasting actually controls will slip in the event of rain, dirt on the rail, or something similar. In terms of fuel, the 300 series has a 6,000 liter tank and the 200 series has a 3,000 liter tank. The 200 series has a steam generator that has a water tank, so it has a smaller fuel tank. The locomotive is equipped with a two-stroke diesel engine with 16 cylinders arranged in a V layout. The maximum power of the diesel engine is 1950 horsepower. The diesel engine is used to start the main generator, and the main generator produces electricity, which it sends to the traction motors. We start the diesel engine with an auxiliary generator, because it serves as an alternator and charges electric batteries. Now we will start the diesel engine.
watchman represents a measure of safety and control of the train driver's vigilance. It is the driver's duty to press this button every 20 seconds and thus notify the watchman of his alertness. If the driver forgot to operate the alarm clock, the locomotive would activate automatic braking. The first 20 locomotives arrived in the port of Splai in February 1960. On March 14, 1960, locomotive number 661-002 transported the first train on the KNIN split route. Now we will change the driving direction and drive to the shorter end. It's the same principle, just another direction. Minimum continuous speed 17.4 kilometers per hour. Now we will put it in the eighth position a little bit. Maximum speed 124 kilometers per hour. It's good that such a locomotive exists at all. I don't think a machine like this will ever be made again. In terms of safety, this locomotive is unsurpassed. We like to drive with the front end the most because there is 12 meters of steel in front of us and we don't care what we hit. We would like to thank the Railways of Republika Srpska for permission to film for the purposes of this project.